and we got a good one. We got a top five matchup here, Tennessee and Kansas in what should be a great game here at Barclays Center. And you're a Charlotte guy. That must have been one heck of a team they had. And how about one heck of a start for LeGerald Vick, who is shooting out of his mind right now so far. And a seal. But unable to finish is Turner, and back come the Jayhawks. Dotson, long, finish as a Buki. Williams passes up an open three. Turner will hit it. Derek Walker enters the game for the first time for Tennessee. And a quick trigger on the three for Turner. Move the ball from side to side and then kick it into Azabuki, let him touch it. Good ball movement here, and Dotson bangs down a three. Teammate cuts back door. How do you defend that? How do you not get caught on the back door? You don't get caught, you don't get on the high side. You force your man into the screen. Boy, right now, Tennessee is just, just out executing Kansas on the offensive end. Just KJ Lawson almost carried it. Now, Diedrich Lawson, and if they're going to win this game that might be the most likely candidate to try to take it over here in the second half as a bookie Vic using the screen yes Buki got a block Vic for three two huge buckets for LeGerald Vic and Tennessee is going to back down to Williams, who has their last 10 points. Schofield for three. He can hurt you down the post. Good Big pass. Vic over the top to Diedrich Lawson. What a pass. Vic finds Diedrich Lawson for two more. As this game comes to a close. Big time basketball game here in Brooklyn and the Jayhawks prevail. Coverage of a big day of college basketball. Road test Saturday. Today is the first game of a terrific doubleheader. Number two Ohio State traveling to Lawrence, Kansas to face the 13th ranked Jayhawks. Back up top. Three pointer. With it. Thomas a dip to spin. Nice pass. Wesley with the dunk. He doesn't make it. Oh, that's a pretty shot by Johnson. Elijah Johnson. Johnson swings it this time. Relifers the open hand. He hits a three. Travis Relifers with the bucket. I think they can go to with the inside a little bit more than they are, but he's got to stay away from that way low post. Got to get up the lane where he can go. One guy's not been able to finish. The swing up top. Johnson's been hot. <laughs> and now the dish out for Buford fires. Rebound tip by Robinson. He'll control it. Williams on the other end, very slow to get back into the play. And he gets those short numbers. Taylor lays it in. Got a mercurial career here at Kansas. Young straight on. Can't nail that one. Jayhawks. Buford in the paint. Won't drop for him. And that will do it. There's the final home. That's 47 straight non-conference home wins for Bill Self and Kansas. <laughs> this is something else, and we're underway here at the pod. Much larger role than he had last year, and he has grown into that role and then some as a sophomore. Now Kansas is getting switches. They can take advantage of these. Devontae Graham for three. A switch. Now Ulysses can go by him. Had to force it up, got the rim, but that's it. Numbers for KU. Mason. Seldon. Sell that elbow jumper, but he misses the 15-footer. Mason finds Green, yep, and Green look. finds the bottom of the net. Fake, but a little bit too early in the offense. Eulis again. 
What a game he's had. And he's got a dozen. And Kentucky goes back on top. Screen here. I would watch for Selvin to get the ball. Green handling. Driving knocked away. Eulis comes up with a loose ball. Murray adjusts and hits. What a big sequence for Kentucky at the end of the half. He's got to do something to get Jamal Murray going. Yeah, he's knocked a couple shots down, but he needs to do even more. Mason rattles home a three. Briscoe gets into the paint, doesn't get the shot off, finds Murray. Five to shoot. Back to Briscoe. The drive, the finish by Lee. In a thriller over LSU just before this one. Earlier today, Texas A&M defeated Iowa State. Boy, A&M is good, aren't they? Really good. Really good. <laughs> Force a lot of turnovers. Sell it again. The lead by Kansas. Mason cut off. Graham will try it. He's cut off. Ellis will try it. Eulis has it taken away by Trailer. And Mason knocks down a three. No Briscoe. Hawkins in the game. Eulis. What a play. He is unbelievable. Move into the final minute of regulation here at Allen Fieldhouse. And Isaiah Briscoe playing with those cramps. You might want to go right at him. Covering Graham. Instead, it'll be a throw. For Selden. It's going to be Murray to make a play. And he puts Kentucky back on top. Still got a chance to win it. Ellis the handoff to Mason. Back to Graham. Graham the drive. Shovel pass. Ellis. And he is fouled and will head to the free throw line. Ellis, 77% of the season, but has struggled tonight. No timeout, shot clock turned off. Here comes Ulis. He wants a ball screen. He lost it, and it's Kansas ball. And if you're able to throw long, you can get more than that. Got to get it in. Mason gets it off. Oh, almost hit a half-court shot at the buzzer. Shoot it, and he can block shots right now. Tied again. Not for long. What a game by Wayne Selden. A career-high 33, and as you mentioned, two extraordinary defensive plays, too, that were very important at the time he made them. The home court winning streak will continue for Kansas. They'll go to 2-0 oh in overtime this year. The triple overtime win here over Oklahoma. And now an overtime victory over Kentucky as well. Just a, a great game and a great atmosphere tonight. As Euless knocks down a late three, so he's going to wind up with 26. Career high for him. And that'll be all tonight here at Allen Field. Now we'd like to welcome those of you joining us on ESPN as well as we welcome you to Kansas and Georgia Tech. A New Year's Day special for you here this afternoon. Dan Schulman, Dick Vitale, and Doris Burke with you. And Georgia Tech, how have they dominated so far? Well, they've done it defensively. The games, I'll give it to the line more than five times. <laughs> Muhammad. Now McHenry in the corner knocks down the three. He doesn't shoot him off it, but he's come up big here so far today. More meaningful. Langford, Miles, and Giddens all quiet here offensively to start this game. They haven't scored from the field. Yep. Either one of the three. Have those three come up blank, tough to win. Good look here for Miles. By double figures. Adam Morrison is sensational. And the three goes down for Jarrett Jack on the feed from Will Bynum. And that's what we see out of newspapers saying, apparently saying they're definitely going to the NBA. That's at least how it looked in the paper. As Giddens knocks down a three, but then they cut final minute of the first half. Kansas trying to make a run. 
Oh, double up on Lang to get the ball out of his hands. Yeah. The feet are set. When the feet are set, it goes down. Plays on to play it down. Christian Moody and Alex Galindo have been terrific support players for the Jayhawks today. I don't think if you would have said to Bill Suff when they were down 63rd that then have the ball for the last shot to win the game, that he would have believed it. And in a game in which they have never led for even a single second. Watch for the offensive rebound on the missed shot. Defenses have a tendency to let up. Shot clock turned off, inside 10 seconds to go. You want the experienced players, Langford's a slash, and the driver. 16-footer, Schencher. No basket, no shot, would not have counted, and we are going to overtime here in Kansas. Well, Schencher was open for a moment, now Moody finds it. Jack to the elbow. Baseline feed, Muhammad on the drive, hangs and hits. That's that great ability to get up in the air, the three-second area, spotted an opening, utilized his jumping ability. Brought a freshman to Robinson in, and Robinson has a lot of poise and a lot of ability. Galindo, tough catch. He's a three-point shooter, Galindo, so is J.R. Kinnitz, trying to get to the three-point line. Shot clock a factor, down to six. Galindo, a contested three! He's a three-point shooter, Mr. Schultz. Overtime, and as entertaining a game as you'll see all year, Frankfurt with a steal. Miles to Giddens, and Kansas has its first lead of the game. Yeah. Got to convert, you're at home, the free throw line. People said it's an area of concern. Kansas. Line to be counted by Miles, who's got four fouls. Three from the corner for the freshman, Anthony Morrow. Look at I tell you, that stomach is churning. There's the drive by Langford. Look at his teammate. Langford's got it back. He loves to get in the lane and drive. There it is. He loves to get in the lane. Kansas has a chance to win it. Just like they did in regulation. Will it be Langford time? Or maybe penetration by Miles? I would let Miles attack the basket. We need to look for Langford or Giddings. It's not open in the trial. Into the hands of Langford. Langford. They wanted to hit again. Had the last opportunity in regulation. There he goes. With the spin. Got it! Oh! He set it up to come up big to win. He set it up to come up big to win. And he responded. The floor. Prior to his injury, Muhammad to inbound. He can run that baseline. Jack. Comes to get a look. Jack stepped out of bounds. Still going out of the game like he did with that injury. Giddens gets it in, and Galindo is fouled as the clock runs down to 1.6. Now with injuries. We're seeing them without their number one options are not on the floor. Both are so well coached. Both have that competitiveness. Three in a row he's been. Wow. They did it four in a row. Wow. Venture Morrow back in for Georgia Tech as Wayne Simeon looks on. 1.6 to play. Tech will at least have a desperation attempt to tie the game, depending on what Galindo does here. And this shot is not all that bad. Yeah, you're think right. about it. Yep. And this shot, grab possession, tough to get a shot off. And this shot isn't always bad. Taking the ball out of bounds. What a win. This win. What an incredible win. They looked like they were absolutely no shot when they were down 16. They were... Didn't look organized, looked like they were out of rhythm, but a gutty play defensively, and Langford and Miles just wouldn't let him lose in the second half. Welcome to the Infinity College basketball tip-off. And welcome to one of the great environments, one of the great scenes, and what's sure to be one of the most memorable games of the college basketball season. Well, you have to give Derek Willis some credit because he made him pull up for a jump shot. They're not letting him get all the way to the rim. And this is what Willis can do. He can hurt you from beyond the arc. His friends call him speed. <laughs> <laughs> In Devontae Graham's defense, MYK is correct. Yeah, they... So he wasn't technically nine seconds. They'll play in South Bend against a good Notre Dame team on Monday night. Hawkins counted and a foul. So as he clears out space, and then you can get open shots behind him. Jackson around out of bio and makes it a seven-point game. At the middle of his zone. There it is. Bob the lob. Sniffed out by Colby. He tipped it to Vic. 
Ray on the line, oh. and Vic over everybody to slam it home. Mason with the rebounding, the assist, leading the Big 12 in scoring, leading the Big 12 in three-point shooting. Lead again. Vic driving on Willis. Adebayo comes over to help, and that leaves Lucas unattended. They're Shot clock inside 10. We haven't said that often tonight. Graham buries a three. Mikhailis the kick. Mason, as open as he will ever be, gets the bounce. Hit the heel. And Landon Lucas is going to be open. Back, Back into the 2-3 now. That's because of another turnover. Fox threw it right to Mason. Mason misses. What a follow by Devontae Graham. With four or five minutes left in the first half, looked like they might get blown out. Not only did they not get blown out, they roared to the finish in the first half, came out, took the lead in the second half, and the Kansas Jayhawks pick up an enormous road win. Handy Kentucky a loss here at the Rupp Arena. Jayhawks 79, Wildcats 73. Jayhawks, the fourth ranked team in the nation, taking on the undefeated and extremely impressive Dayton Flyers perimeter shooter. Dotson. And he knocks down a three. That's I believe. Dotson. As a bookie again. And Anybody an angle to the basket, any of these Kansas big guys. Look how far out Abaji managed, managed to push Toppin. He was thinking about driving him and said a step back three. Boy, Obi Toppin on the Left corner will step back. He let it go and turned around, looked at the Kansas wow. bench before he went through. Wow. He had a pretty good idea, but he launched that exactly the right way. <laughs> I think butting into a star caliber player. Agreed. Dotson, nice look. And Aruna wide open. Yes. He's on top and they take an Abaji off him and put Anaruna on top. And Crutcher can't shake Moss. Mike Sell is wide open and it goes. He might shoot it. He will, and he'll bury it. Well, he's up on him, so he can drive it. Lost it. Dotson. It. Big screen by Azubuki. Garrett driving. Boy, is he good at it. Till now the kick. Dotson driving again, and he makes... Azubuki with Toppin on him. Nice look. And Garrett ties the game. Garrett. Azubuki. And one. Shot blocker on the floor for Kansas. Who will get the shot? Got to go quick. A force three. Yes! Crutcher ties the game. Out of bounds. The three-point line. Moss. Oh! In the ball game when it's been this hard played. And remember, third game in as many days, right? Over the top. And the finish for Azabuki. Kansas going to do here. Get it to the big guy. Dotson with a burst of speed. Wow. Tactical game here in Maui. Garrett won't take the three. Garrett will try to oh. reverse it and somehow bank it home. And that should do it. Spectacular game here in the championship in Maui. Congratulations to the Kansas team. Andrew Wiggins is a guy who might do more spectacular things, might just wow you with his athleticism. But is he as complete, as developed, as far along right now as Jabari Parker? No matter how you slice it, these are two of the absolutely most talented young players that we will see in college basketball this Final year. Final things any doubt, and they lost to a quality team in Michigan State. Bill Self said last night at an event, it's a beautiful feed, and Wiggins jams it home. Here's Joel Embiid, another one of the freshmen. This guy's a fascinating wow, story. Wow. Embiid is from Cameroon, seven-footer. Volleyball player as a kid didn't play organized basketball until he was 16 years old And here he is as one of the top incoming freshmen as Marshall Plum Gamble by Embiid Plumley's got it Parker for three Yes, and he'll be heading to the line the power that physique 
At eight points, four assists in Kansas's opening game win over Louisiana Monroe. But Parker is feeling it here in his hometown. Opportunities. MB draws the double team. Nice look inside to Wiggins. Great. Sudamon, Mason stays with him. Parker elevates again and hits again. Ellis for three. Got it. But in recruiting, finishing second doesn't help. Our eyesight tree. Selden with another good pass, and this time it's Embiid who finishes. All right, let's get down to the game here. Selden to a wide open Mason. Mason going inside again. That's his game. Attack the rim. Stationary. You got to be up. He's got a great first step. Step back jumper. Yes. He's got a great first step. And he makes the shot consistently, the jump shot. And let me tell you, guy that played here, they got a statue for him, Michael Jordan. He worked on proving a shot. Oh, so there he is in transition. They're dancing, baby. They're dancing. Jay Hawks love that. That's Mr. Wiggins at his best. Game was tied at 79 with 250 left. Kansas outscoring Duke 15 to 4 down the home stretch to win 94 to 80. As a matter of fact, that Wayne Simeon to three. You betcha. Big dub from 19. That's Paul Davis. Tied his career high with 21 against Bucknell, but he turns it over here. Look out, JL. Up the ladder and down. A big jail for JL. Which is not far off his all time career high. But how about the alley oop lob to JR Gidden? Wow, that was fun. Not perfect to pass by Aaron Miles. And it doesn't take much for JR. And JR, here he uh -oh. comes again. Is coming down. Oh my! Oh my! JR get it. About a nice tournament they've got the Spartan Classic this weekend, the 25th anniversary of the 79 champs, and all four teams from the Final Four that year are back. Michigan State will play Indiana State this weekend and then play either Penn or DePaul on the next day. And there'll be no, obviously, there'll be no error. They would like to lead together. Miles already with 10. He might get to it all right here. It is. To the layoff, that's 12. Big leads and gave up the opportunity. Today, Marcus Taylor could be an absolute superstar on the Big Ten All Team. And his stock going way, way up. Stock up, baby, instead of stock down. And becoming a basketball basketball. Hill to the left hand. And a partial block there by Graves. Nobody back. Simeon. Nobody back. Simeon now runs him up the door. Miles, your first two years, you played with guys like Drew Gooden and Nick Collison and Kirk Hatter. There are a lot of good guys, a lot of good options. This kid is unbelievable. They're using the game right now. Now can they capitalize with a make at the other end? Hill with a drive. And a follow by Davis to bring it the lead down to four. Yeah, now personalities will reflect their coach. Michael Lee, fadeaway jumper way off. But the follow is good for J.R. Giddens. This James Naismith to Fong Allen to Larry Brown to Roy Williams. And now Bill Self is 2-0 as head coach of the Kansas Jayhawks. A hard-fought seven-point win over Tom Izzo and the Michigan State Till tonight at the Orleans Center in Las Vegas. It's the number one ranked Florida Gators with all their star power back from a year ago when they won the national championship, taking on the young but very talented Kansas Jayhawks with championship aspirations of their own. This is the three and back come the Jayhawks with a five point lead. Good ball reversal. Julian Wright, the pull up over Noah. Everything is falling for Kansas. And they give them the best guy coming off the bench physically for a big player, and I couldn't agree more with Jack. Russell Robinson knocks down the threes on the floor here tonight. They got two seven players off the bench. Hodge on the perimeter yep. and Richard on the inside. If they go deeper than seven, it's freshman. Green to the three. And Russia Brewer. Sharon Collins back into the game for the Jayhawks. Right. Nice no look pass. What a pass. What a great Seven foot against 6'6. Six, six. Smart play. 
Didn't finish, but a smart play. Good offensive rebound. Horford ties it for the Gators. Oh, is he a man? Is he a man? And I don't keep guys from really getting silly fouls. Right, nice look. Rush juggles the pass, juggles it again. Chalmers for three. Stepping up to make big shots. We asked Bill Self to the Noah Horford. Trying to get a little high-low here. There it is. Boy, they collapse all over Noah, and he muscles it up and in. Got Kansas. They've been tough all night defensively. Brewer trying to draw the foul on Rush instead. Score to goal. Score to goal. But how impressive now. Noah really wanted the ball late in the game and getting the ball on the inside. This season. You don't want a foul here. Chalmers almost had a lane, tries to thread the needle inside. And Noah's called for the foul. Who can go over the back? The freshman, Darrell Arthur, as he tries to add to the one point lead. But look to the beauty of the game as well. Even if the team loses here, it's not a disaster. He wants the ball. Gets the bounce on the front end, and Mom. <laughs> Wow. That's the touch four in a row. In a row. Oh, they're going to love him in Kansas. You don't want a foul. Ford is going to get a quick deuce. Oh, a basket and a foul. Oh, and he. He is so he's upset. Sunk, it's not the basket, it's the foul that bothers him. Oh, they got the ball back. They green for three. To and Noah ball. ties it. Oh, 4.2, plenty of time. Run it down the clock. You don't want a foul here. Overtime. It's only fitting. The shoot. Under three to go here in overtime. A one point lead for the Jayhawks. Humphrey feeling it now. He wants it. All of a sudden. And the Jayhawks up by two. We got Richard now playing on Arthur. Nice look. Robinson inside. Rush ties it. Sets. Yep. He lays that screen. Arthur gets the ball right back. Green uses the screen and hits a three. Tony Green with the. Patience right now, the right people. Oh, I'd go to the young kid. He wants the ball. Oh, nice look at the end of the game. The Russians wanted the ball. Florida. Something they want out of him. Florida's got a timeout. Tough shot by Brewer. I don't think anybody touched it. It's going to be Kansas ball. Foul. Let him go to the free throw line and win the basketball game. But do not allow him to take a three. Missed it. Well, missed it right now. Noah. Time. Uh oh, here he goes. He got Brewer the win. For the win. He got the win. Oh. A celebrate. Kansas has knocked off number one. Jubilation. This will get them back mentally and psychologically to believe they're one of the best. The visiting team and underway here for game two at the Garden. Player, uh, but he has played five on five in uh, over a year. Bernard with a drive and a kick. Jones with a three. And they are arguably the best at starting backboard in the country. Jefferson plays it in and restores the five-point advantage for the Blue Devils. <laughs> Two-point lead Blue Devils. Kansas running the lead. Graham for the lead. Good rebound. How about that play by Devontae Graham? Go down and protect the basket. Now you got to run to that three-point line. Back into the zone. Graham will knock down the three. Using the screen from Jeter. A good help by Landon Lucas. Floater by Allen. Left it short. Brad comes up with it. He's going to look for a guard. He'll find Graham. Great defense by Mason. Graham ties the game at 37. He can't mess around with the ball. Just straight up to the basket. Jackson for three. Josh Jackson, after picking up a third foul early in this half, came back into the game and has played great since he's got 11 points here in the second half. And I'll tell you what, you got to give LeGero Vick a lot of credit for keeping that ball alive. Now a turnover, miscommunication, it's Mason with a reverse. Well, that was a big answer to that three by Grayson Allen. A really big answer. Jackson got hit. A chance for a four-point play. Boy, another missed opportunity. What a huge bucket that would have been. And all of a sudden, it's a one-possession game. Back into the hands of Mason. Shot clock at six. Mason gets it off. Tough shot. And rebound comes down to Pinard. Don't want to 
give up a three here. Allen has it knocked away. Kennard on the drive. Jackson to tie it. Got it! 15 seconds to go. Kansas does have a timeout. Bill Self going to use it. Jones a great defender and bigger. Well, let him catch it. Five seconds to go. Mason, the pull-up jumper. Yes! 1.8! Jackson to inbound. Matt Jones. And Kansas will win it. Apropos of this game, Frank Mason, the toughest player on the floor, makes the winning play. How about that?